Hello, I have a larger order here, so I wanted to go ahead and haul it so I could um, get it all put away. I have a planner notebook haul from OK Plans. So it came with a couple freebies. This is the card for the paw prints that come, um, a script freebie, uh, something from the pastel version of Fall Festival, and then uh, once more with one sheet. And then just a journaling card with that same fall festival art. I grabbed a few different insert covers for 2021. So I have the Be Mine, obviously for February, Celebrate, Crisp. Um, I do, this one was actually supposed to be ID2, um, and I got ID8. It's not a huge deal. Uh, Tintern 2, Wildflower 3. Holly Jolly C and Holly Jolly 2. So those are the insert covers that I got. Really stocking up on those lately. And then for notebooks, I got the Holly Jolly Scene. This one I did blank pages. Um, I think this is going to turn into my budget financial home life type. Just notebook and sketching, um, things like that. And then I have, this is Wildflower, one of the Wildflower ones, I think. No, because this is this year's art. I'm not sure. Anyways, um, all of the listings are in there for the pictures of them. So this one is in the grid. So I think it's 150 sheets in the notebooks. Um, and it does have the smaller coil for the notebooks. And then the planner has the bigger coil. It's a little bit... Um, more flexible because of that. This is the Let's Party scene. And I just did the undated. This is the Aura Stell monthly. So it's 1.5 inch boxes. And then the standard weekly with the split um, lines. So this is her undated A5 wide version. Um, so as we redo 2021, that's what we will be doing in this. So that gets the bigger things off my desk. And then I also have an order from Champ Lands. This is her nail boutique. Um, so I just uh, ordered the siding kit and it comes with everything that I will need for it. And this cute little um, card for it. So I'm excited to be able to do this um, and order more with the correct sizes. <laughs> um, and then I also have an order from Alicia Craft. Um, I love her foiling. She's so perfectionist that um, all of the foiling is just perfect. Uh, so I have a couple different freebies. This is in gold, in the pink rose gold. This is the matte and the full freebie. And then I also picked up these. I thought these are such a cute idea, um, but I haven't seen anyone pick them up yet. These are the monthly scripts with the foil background. Um, so like if you do, oh, you can't really see it there. Like if you do January over January, it'll fit perfectly. I just think that's such a unique idea. Um, so I thought I'd try it a couple times. Um, so I picked up those and I did a, uh, gold and silver in the background and then just the black in the scripts. I also did a couple items from her fall release. So I did the overlays, uh, just the full box overlays, and then a couple bottom washi ones. So I did one for a green planner kit and then two for that. Um, these aren't going to anything special. Um, I just thought they would be nice to pick up some nice designs. And then for the apple pie release, I'm using the apple orchard kit. So I did these overlays and then these two um, washies. I think I purposely paired these together, but I can't remember exactly. So I guess we'll find out when I do that spread. And then the beach overlays, uh, I did silver. Uh, I'd have to look what blue this is. Um, one of the blues and then hollow. And then I did the same colors in the beach 15 millimeter on the silver hollow and the blue for the dolphins. And then I also did the starfish stars in those same three colors. I ordered um, two back to school washies. 
since I'm using it for last year and going back to school last year. I'm not going back to school right now, thank goodness, I'm done with my bachelor's, but as I talk about this, I'm considering my master's, so we'll see. <laughs> and then these are specifically for a wedding kit that will be for last year. Um, so I did the foil bundle and two overlays. I just thought these would be nice to have. These are in the ballerina foil, and I did message Alicia um, with the kit that I'm planning on using uh, to see what her opinion was, and her opinion was also the ballerina color. So um, you get the eight overlays, uh, two pages of bougie boxes, and you get to choose. So I chose the rings. Lots of deco, some of the bigger deco, and your three sets of headers. Um, bottom washi, date numbers, weekend banner, and some just various uh, lines and uh, deco pieces type thing. Some more overlays, uh, your three corner overlays, and a couple more bougie boxes in the rings. So those are my orders. Thanks. Hello everyone. Adding a haul bit here. I have a planner big scale, a small order, a smaller scribble prints co order, um, the scribble prints co October mystery, and the planner face September mystery. So let's go ahead and get started. First I have the foil swatches from Planner Pixie Co. Um, I just thought these were nice to have and I can't imagine that other shops are really that different um, when it comes to me planning um, a foil with a kit. Uh, like I feel like pumpkin is kind of pumpkin across the board kind of thing um, and kind of just give me a better idea of what I want. So I don't know if I'll order them from like Plain Hannah or Alicia Craft. I don't know if I'll continue to order them, um, but I thought they would just be nice to have so I could get my eyes on them um, instead of, you know, buying a confetti foil bundle and every single color. <laughs> um, I think this one's pretty. It's the Autumn Pebble. Um, orange glitter, red glitter, blue glitter, rainbow glitter, and she did two of them so uh, you could see the whole rainbow. Uh, matte silver. Matte gold, matte bronze, icy blue, olive is also a matte wood grain and silver wood grain. I think this would be really pretty with some fall spreads, so I might try to pick some up in that. So that were just the foil swatches, and she just released those um, a couple weeks back. I think I got this opening weekend if I remember right. And then this is the August Freely, these fall. Then I have the 011 clothes. These are the Barbie clothes. Um, this is in pink hollow, I believe. And then I also did the football clothes in silver. Um, I figure at some point, um, like a homecoming or something like that, a homecoming football game, uh, since my school just went D1, that I might do a football kit. So even though I don't go anywhere there anymore, but all my friends are still there pretty much. So, And then I also picked up the football washi in silver to go with that. Um, a couple overlays in the fall. I did these pumpkins, um, the fall like scene type ones, uh, some clothes and some more clothes. I just think clothes are fun. I probably own too many. And then I don't know why I only got one of these. I mean, maybe I was planning on pairing it, but I don't, I don't really know because it's like a not super like clip arty type one to where I want, wouldn't want to do every box so I don't really know but these are the like plaid type underlays and this is in gold. Then I have an SPC order so last time I got the um, Santa sleigh freebies and then this time I got the Merry Christmas ones which I'm excited about. I like these. One in every color and then I got the Kidness Jess freebie. I seem to almost always get hers it's kind of funny. And then I did whole reinforcers. I just did a, um, a mix. Um, well, not a mix, but like a, I only did one sheet. Um, and really you need two if you wanted all of that one. Um, so I might go back, I might not, I don't know. I'm also considering moving out of rings, so we'll see. So I did the matte bronze, and then I also did the three, the big three in gold, silver, and rose. So we'll see. Um, I picked up the New Year's quotes. Um, I just didn't have any anymore, and I don't really know why I picked gold. I'm probably using silver, so whatever. <laughs> um, I picked up the Holiday Prep add-on. I think I am ordering this from 
Crust Press and I wanted this color, I think. Not for sure, but I think that's where I was coming from. And then I did three of the olive green color from Movie Night because I want to pull in some olive into some other uh, spreads. Um, so I just did three since they're great to have. And then I don't always pick up color of the week. Um, I do every once in a while. And I just thought this purple color, purplish color, um, was really pretty. Um, so I picked up these and the, this is the in the 10 sheets. So prior to her coming out with the extra two. And then I also picked up these checklists. I did the rose colorway and the grayscale um, to do in my work planner since not all kits are doing that. And I'm not picking up the add-ons for everything. So there's that now i have the october mystery from skull prince co first let's start with the foil this is in sparkly hollow this is in the snow um the new snow format um which i like a lot more than the old snow format the old snow format just felt like a lot to me um it is interesting how you can see these patterns are like tilted they're not straight which i think is kind of funny I do, th I like it, it better tilted than it would it be if it's straight, because if it's straight, it's just like a line across and I feel like I have to line up my boxes. She also put the names on them, so I wonder if she's going to come out with these individually. I'm not sure. But yeah, she did the names on the underlays. And then the standard scripts, this is the, the old font, or older, they're still in the shop and everything, but the older font. And then the new headers and the bottom washi which I like a lot more. Going from that, we have the October Mystery Kit. Um, this is Darcy Art. Uh, it's not my favorite, but I do like it, especially for being more like fairy tale focused, um, like with the fairy and then like the butterflies and, um, you know, sparkles and things like that. So it's a little bit not my theme but I also really like the way that it was done to make it more my theme and make me more likely to use it I think this bedroom scene is cute you have so many extra boxes here so tall girl an extra scene um this is an extra colorway extra colorway extra colorway in this pattern box I like the idea of pattern boxes and I also like this is a pattern box with an extra touch um than just like a wood pattern box we have the bottom washi which I like the snow pattern um, glitter headers, the deco, um, the boxes, rounded boxes page, whoops, the littles page, the solids, patterns, which I think are really pretty. I like all of these patterns. And then the extra sheet with the extra color, the checklist, and the doodles. Moving on from that, I have the September Mystery from Planner Face. This is my first one that I've subscribed to. Um, I've ordered a couple off of her buy, sell, trade, um, but I haven't been subscribed until now. So this is the first one. Here's the um, little like, journaling card, postcard. I don't know what these are called. Whatever they're called. <laughs> um, that it comes with that, which is super cute. Um, and then we have the full boxes. I love the dog. I also love this girl, but this is the same girl. Um, we have the little igloos, which I think is so cute. I love that. Um, these scripts are hit or miss for me. I also did the premium matte paper. Um, so it's a little bit uh, more expensive to do the premium matte upgrade. I have the 15 millimeter. These are all extra colors. So this is um, all extra colors for boxes on the first page. So we have this um, fashion person, this fashion person, um, this fashion hand, and then these hands which you can um, barely see the difference there. So those are all alternate skin tones, but I love that there's so many. We have the bottom washi that does have the ticks um, to cut it if you so choose. And then the food. We have this extra one with the ice skates. I'm not really sure what this is supposed to be. Like, is this supposed to be a curtain and a wallpaper? I'm, I'm not really sure. I don't really get this box, but I think the ice skates are cute. Um, we have the date covers and some sidebar things, the glitter headers, um, little things, uh, some heart checklists, and some doodles, um, some more little things and some more glitter headers, and then the heart checklist and rounded boxes. 
So there is the Planner Face September Mystery and the Mystery Kit Format. I do believe that once this kit comes to shop next year, if she reformats it, that this is not a part of that. This, this is exclusive to the mystery, I think. Um, so if you're interested in it, definitely check out the Visal Trade. Um, most of the people are overseas in Europe, um, but I've purchased from quite a few people and they have always been really willing to uh, ship to the U.S. So yeah, so that is all I have for today's haul. Um, I'll probably add one more clip to this and then we will be all finished for the month. Um, I will talk to you guys in a second technically. Bye! As this is the last haul bit, this is going to be the Glam Planner September Mystery. Oh, I think I'm shaking. There we go. The Glam Planner September Mystery. Um, first of all, here are the uh, teeny subscriptions. So you get three of them. Um, we have this one, the little ghosties, and it looks like they have a life jacket on. Um, focus, there we go. So those are the three that were in this month's teeny subscription. And then the kit is Lake House. I love this kit so much. It's so cute. Um, it's so funny. Jen from Jen Joy Plans and I were talking about how she was worried that she was going to really like September's kit because she forgot to sign up for it. And then I got it in and immediately was like, oh my gosh, you're going to love this. So it's called The Lake House. It has a dog. I love this scene. This scene is stunning um, with the trees. Here, let's get a little bit closer with the trees. We have the fireplace here, clothing flat lay the dog, a little bench, um, the canoe, yeah, canoe, um, and then a book and a camera. And then we have the label sampler. So here you can see the colors. So we have this like peachy kind of color, a green, a light blue, and a dark blue. I love this color palette. I think it's so pretty. We have five fashion girls here. They're so cute. The highlighter is stunning. And then we have a hand box with the fingernails and it does have a design here on the ring finger. I think it's, it's hard to see. It's easier to see in person, but it has just some little bead foliage type thing on it. And then here are the extra boxes. So just some home decor items, um, square boxes. And this is in her newest format. We've been doing that for a couple mysteries now. We have our bottom washi, which I don't love, but that's okay. I do think this kind of looks like clouds. So, and then like the ground with the green. So it's okay. Um, we have our glitter headers. We have our littles and I like, um, these are kind of like the bigger littles. Uh, I like that she's been doing the glitter pattern. I think it's kind of cute. Um, with some patterns, we have deco here. Um, some more patterns. Our checklists are in that cloud type pattern. And then we got a gold hollow. Oh, let's see this one. Here is the big box. This is like a sunroom with the couch and chair. And then we did get gold hollow and the foil, which I don't love, but I think it's still good. I think this is probably a copper kit or even a rose kit, um, like the pinky rose or even just a regular rose gold. I think both of those would look good. Um, if you had the right green, um, green might work, but I'm not sure how that would do. So I don't love the gold hollow, um, but Elle loves gold hollow. We get gold, gold hollow like all the time. So we did a uh, bottom washi and date covers and then the big box, the extra boxes, and then the main eight here. So I definitely don't love the scene. It's a lot for the scene. Um, covering all the trees in the lake and everything. Um, but I think it's cute here, like on the fireplace. It's cute here. I think the canoe would be cute. Um, this is like the bedding that the dog is sitting on. So I think some of them are okay. I just think if I don't plan, you know, like if I kind of mix it, I'm not sure if I can mix rose and gold hollow. I don't know if I would like that. Um, but I may try it, but I also may not because I love this art so much that I don't want to mess it up. So this is the September mystery from Glam Planner, and that will be the end of the Hobbit. I know that I have, or I'm supposed to have some coming today because they were supposed to come last week and they were supposed to be in this Hobbit um, from Happy Sticker Designs. I think an, I have an SPC order on the way too, so I will probably get an October uh, part one and part two haul out too. So I will see you all in my next one. Bye.